everyone, how are you doing? So this is gonna be really quick. No recipe as such today, but a prep item which is essential in Indian cooking. And you've all asked me to do this as well. Ginger and garlic paste. Dipna, how do you make your fresh ginger and fresh garlic paste? Firstly, when I show the a paste in my recipes, I show it together. So I mix the ginger and garlic. So let me show you. Here is my peeled ginger and I've just roughly chopped it as well, ready for my little blender. And here is my garlic, which I haven't actually chopped, they're just whole cloves, which is absolutely fine. Equal amounts, so 50% ginger, 50% garlic. I then need a little grinder like this, so you can use, you know, a bullet grinder. This is a Hinari Genie one, which I have stolen off mom. She doesn't really let me use it very often but she made an exception uh, today so let's just get straight on with it what i'm going to do is put my garlic cloves into here like this same with my uh, ginger now of course anything fresh is always better but if you really can't make your own ginger and garlic then you do get the frozen uh, cubes of ginger and garlic that you can just buy so you can do it that way if you like but this is the fresh ginger and garlic paste and there's nothing like it if you can do it this way um, if you feel oh you're gonna make you know a batch of it and it might go bad in the refrigerator then you can also freeze this and actually one of my students on one of my cookery courses gave me a great idea once and said what she does at home is gets an ice cube tray and put the ginger garlic in the ice cube tray so it's a so it's a um cube of ginger and garlic so that's an adequate size for a curry because it's like one tablespoon like enough curry for like four people so you can do it that way that's just a key tip and my mum does that now um, at home as well so it's a good way to actually make the paste or a bulk of paste and then put it into little ice cube um trays or a tray if you like and then just freeze it and then whenever you want to make a curry just bash out one cubes just like you do uh, for ice um, I guess okay so ginger and garlic fresh in there and now I'm going to add some water and all you need to combine is just the water you might need a little bit more so I'm gonna get that on there I'm gonna go ahead and paste that and then in between just give it a little mix as well um, just to kind of get all the ingredients to combine together but both, both ingredients to combine together let me go ahead and do that Let's go ahead and just give that a little bit of a mix. Might need a little bit more water in this actually. So, look. Oopsie, spilling everywhere. Okay, so just get that. Oh, there are some big bits still in there, so that definitely does need a little bit more uh, grinding. There you go. This actually does also, ginger garlic, paste you can make using the back of a knife as well you chop it fine and then you use the back of the knife to actually squeeze the ginger and garlic it takes a lot of time that way um, but it does work so if you haven't got a um, grinder then it does work that way as well adding a little bit more water okay right gonna get that back on there okay and go ahead and blend that one more time there we go okay and I have the perfect ginger and garlic paste. That is how simple it is to make fresh ginger and garlic paste. Okay, let's get it into this little bowl over here. Look, and that is a perfect texture as well. And what makes that texture? You don't need oil, you don't need any other ingredients, just water. Ginger, garlic, and water. Don't be reluctant to put in more water if it's needed. Don't think, oh, this paste is going to be too watery because even if there is excessive water in it, it's just going to be added to a dish anyway, which you're going to probably add water to anyway. Guys, that is how simple, how easy it, it, it is to make ginger and garlic paste. Just like that. So there you are, you requested it, I bought it to you and showed you how quick and simple it is. And of course, don't waste any paste as well. So whatever's on the lid, get that out as well. This is all usable. This is the good stuff, the fresh stuff. I hope you've enjoyed that. Give that a go. Ginger, 
and garlic paste fresh. See you soon. Stay happy and stay healthy. Bye.